In the rapidly evolving world of offshore energy, the foundation is the key to supporting and stabilizing wind turbines in the harsh, dynamic ocean environment. At Fidar Animation Group, we specialize in bringing these complex offshore technologies to life through animation. Today, we'll take you on a journey to explore the different types of offshore wind foundations, each designed for specific sea depths and conditions. Offshore wind farms are built upon a variety of foundation types, each uniquely suited to the depth and characteristics of the seabed. Let's begin by exploring the most common foundation systems used in offshore wind energy today. First, we have the Concrete Gravity Foundation, an ideal solution for shallow waters. These massive structures rely on their own weight to anchor themselves to the seabed. Made from concrete, they are stable and highly resistant to movement, making them a solid choice in areas where the water depth is relatively low. Next is the Monopile Foundation, one of the most widely used designs for medium to deep water depths. Monopiles are large, single steel tubes that are driven deep into the seabed, providing a stable base for turbines even in waters that reach depths of 30 to 60 meters their simplicity and cost effectiveness make them a popular choice for many offshore wind farms. For even deeper waters, we have the suction bucket jacket. This innovative design uses large, cylindrical buckets that are embedded into the seabed using negative pressure or suction. It's an efficient and environmentally friendly option that's gaining popularity for water depths of up to 100 meters. The tripod suction bucket is a variation of the traditional jacket system, designed for deeper waters and more challenging conditions. It features three legs, each connected to a suction bucket, providing extra stability and strength. This design is ideal for water depths beyond 50 meters and can withstand the harsh forces of the ocean. The four-leg jacket foundation is another robust solution used for deeper waters. Typically from 40 to 70 meters, its four-legged frame offers exceptional stability. And it's highly effective in areas where the seabed is uneven or requires additional strength to withstand strong ocean currents. Finally, we have floating foundations, a game changer for deep water wind farms. These foundations are designed to float on the surface of the ocean, anchored to the seabed using mooring systems. There are several types of floating foundations, including spar buoys, tension leg platforms, and semi-submersibles. These designs enable wind, 